So it's springtime here in Texas, and we're getting the aquaponic system back up and running. Uh, Katie's working on a little maintenance right now, cleaning up the pipe, the NFT pipe, making it look all nice. Huh, babe? Yeah. So she's labeled, uh, she's taking the time to label some of our plants that we've got in the NFT tube and elsewhere so that we don't forget what, what we've got. And she's got, let's see, we've got some cilantro down here that we started from seed. We've got some black-eyed peas right there that we can run up on these trellises as they get longer. We've got uh, green tomatillos over here. Micro tom tomatoes. Got some spinach. This was from seed. Some of these plants we bought uh, already started. The micro tom and some of the other stuff. Uh, Katie bought from someone uh, already little seedlings. Some bib lettuce here that we started from seed as well, along with the spinach. And then, let's see, these are early girl tomatoes, if I remember right. And these first couple of buckets here that I started from seed. Banana peppers we got as a seedling from someone who had started them hydroponically. Uh, blueberry tomatoes we got as a seedling. Uh, this, I believe, is mustard green, and I started that from seed. This, I'm not sure. It's either a different variety of mustard green. Some of the lettuce almost, some of the uh, leaves almost look like bib lettuce, but I think it's, I think it's going to be mustard green, the same as the, the other. Some of the younger leaves, I think, are more rounded and less, they don't have the prickly looking ends to them with the, more texture. This, I think, is an early girl tomato. It could be a, a cherry tomato. I started some cherry tomato as well. So have to wait until the fruit starts producing to be sure. And here I think I've got three tomato plants in one bucket. One Dutch bucket here. Uh, okay. She's labeled some of these. So this is a poblano pepper that we got as a seedling. Jalapeno pepper got as a seedling. This I think is mustard green. Same as that, mustard green. And this one, yeah, the dragon does. We have a bearded dragon and she loves it when Katie gives her loads of mustard greens. This is uh, bib lettuce here, I do believe. And then this one is an unknown pepper plant. I don't, we don't, we aren't sure exactly which variety this is, but it's going to be a banana possibly banana pepper. And then let's see, this one is purple beauty bell pepper that we got as a seedling from someone, and orange bell pepper right here. Still have a couple of Dutch buckets left to uh, to plant something in here. Another variety of tomato, and I don't remember what tomato variety is on the end over here. This one. That pipe looks great. Prince Borghese or Prince Borghese? I hadn't heard of, but the kids think it's hilarious. <coughs> it's like Prince tomatoes. That pipe looks so much better. It was all covered in uh, just mildew like and like mold and stuff growing. Yeah, you know. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't affect the inside, but it just looks ugly and unkept. Well, you made it look nice, babe. Let's see here. But yeah, we're just getting the system back up and kind of kicking again. We took a, a year off last summer and didn't didn't run anything. I do have a couple of soil buckets here. This one I've got some pest problems with. Uh, I think it's mustard greens in there. And then uh, tomatoes over here in this other soil bucket. So, but I'm using my same sump and tank and same filter design as I've, I've previously done videos on. So, I've got my 55-gallon uh, tank up top. And I've got fathead minnows and some bluegill and perch and shad. Just uh, fish mainly that I can use for, for bait, the minnows especially, crappie minnows. I can use uh, when I go fishing. It's convenient to have a stockpile of them here and they're also feeding my, feeding my plants while they're in the tank. I've got my sump down here, 50-gallon uh, sump tank. I've got my uh, swirl filter made out of a uh, water bottle. A little bit of a leak issue with that this year, so I, I used flex seal on the inside and outside and replaced a cracked uh, bulkhead valve fitting there. I could have just replaced the whole plastic, but 
It was pretty quick and easy just to flex seal it and change the bulkhead drain out. And then I've got my particulate filter in here, which I've got to get the filter material for, some new filter material. I threw the old stuff away, so it's just empty right now. Got some fiber fill uh, polyester that we're going to use, 100% fiber fill with no chemical additives. We're going to put in that later on when we pick it up from Walmart. So, But that's pretty much the long and short of the beginning of it and setting it up uh, for this season. And we'll do some more updates later on.